She's innocent. That's according to family members of 17-year-old Cheyenne Parrott. Those same family members, they say they have turned out, uh, over rather evidence from social media to police suggesting someone else was driving the truck that struck 22-year-old Amber Shipley in Nebraska City earlier this month. John Chapman was in Odo County. That's where he continues our coverage. An Odo County judge set bond for 17-year-old Cheyenne Parrott at $1 million. Family members of Amber Shipley say they want the charges elevated. According to the family, Amber died from her injuries. We've had a lot of prayers and support and the whole family. We thank everybody for, for everything, but our baby girl now is up in heaven with her daddy and she's not in any more pain. Prosecutors say they will elevate the charges when they get official word that the 20-year-old has passed away. Police say Cheyenne Parrott intentionally ran over Amber Shipley in Nebraska City on September 14th. Now Parrott faces three felony charges, including first-degree assault and leaving the scene of a personal injury accident. But Parrott's family members say they have evidence from social media, evidence they say they have turned over to police that suggests that someone else was driving the truck that ran over Amber. She wants to know why there's other people not in jail. Um, we ask her without asking her if there's anybody else that should be confessing. And she said yes, because Cheyenne's the one that's saying she did it. She says she's scared of what could happen if she's out. She said that she doesn't want anybody else in trouble. Prosecutors say they have no knowledge of this new evidence. Parrott will be back in court next month. With photographer Mike Plews, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News.